Hello and welcome to Puerto Rico Headline News for December 3rd, 2020. Governor Wanda Vasquez has released what could be the last executive order of 2020. Let's go ahead and take a look at the details and see what changes are in store. Top stories from around the island. To the point. Without the fluff. Puerto Rico Headline News. Please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification. If this is your first time here, welcome to my YouTube channel. You can also visit PuertoRicoHeadlineNews.com. And this is an aggregator, a news aggregator website that collects all the news from the major uh, news reporting sources here in Puerto Rico, translates them from Spanish into English. So you're welcome to visit this website and get uh, up to date uh, breaking news. And I also have a Facebook uh, group page, Puerto Rico Headline News. And on this website, I, I do post news articles. And then uh, you have the opportunity to comment and uh, hear replies from uh, others uh, that live in Puerto Rico. Sometimes they provide uh, some additional information on the goings on here in Puerto Rico. And we certainly appreciate their contribution. And uh, feel free to visit this group, Facebook group, Puerto Rico Headline News, and uh, ask any questions. And uh, we have a great community here that loves to answer and provide any help uh, you may need uh, about information in Puerto Rico in case you're in the States or outside of Puerto Rico. And if you do live here in Puerto Rico as well. So now let's get to the executive order. And for this, we're going to go directly to the Facebook uh, La Fortaleza de Puerto Rico uh, Facebook uh, group that they have. This is the official uh, page uh, for the governor. So we're going to go directly here and see this, take a look at the executive order that was released uh, today. So, and then uh, it is in Spanish. They do not uh, translate it into English. So if you bear with me, we're going to walk through this together and I will translate as best as I can. So let's go ahead and take a look here. It says, Governor Wanda Vasquez, let's see here. It says here, Governor Wanda Vasquez Garced emitted a new executive order with the measures that look to avoid uh, the infections. So it's dated the 3rd of December, La Fortaleza, San Juan. The governor, Wanda Vasquez Garced, announced today new restrictions in a new executive order that will be uh, take effect from December 7th, 2020 until... January 7th, 2021. Now, this same executive order establishes modifications to the curfew along with the lockdown that will be taking place on Sundays and the lay seca or the dry law. Uh, in other words, there will be no alcohol for sale on Saturdays and Sundays. So moving on to the second paragraph here of this release, the governor informed that the curfew in Puerto Rico will begin at 9 p.m. and will run through 5 a.m. in the morning from Monday until Saturday. And on Sunday, every citizen should stay in their home of residence or wherever they're staying during 24 hours of the day. So there's a 24 hour lockdown for Sunday and they're asking that you do stay home, uh, except in the case of going to any businesses uh, that are authorized and service providers that are authorized according to this executive order. And then we'll cover those uh, in a second. Now, the data, the data that was compiled for the, regist uh, the registered cases has demonstrated uh, more than 1,000 deaths and more than 50,000 infections. We have to take the necessary measures, precautions uh, to avoid uh, infecting ourselves. And uh, the government is establishing the restrictions, but it's the responsibility of the citizens uh, to avoid the spread of this infection. We are at a point of risk 
uh, because of the holiday season that's upon us and how she has said before, uh, Christmas or this holiday season will be different. But it's better to avoid uh, meeting, uh, large meetings, uh, family meetings, uh, versus this happening to be our last holiday season with family. So we don't want to risk that is what the um, first executive or the governor said. Now, the new order prohibits the consumption, sell, uh, or the provision of alcoholic beverages from 5 a.m. on Saturday until 5 a.m. on Monday. Businesses that are authorized to operate will operate until 8.30 p.m. from Monday to Saturday. And Sunday, the only businesses that will remain open are gas stations, pharmacies, supermarkets, um, hardware stores, restaurants, uh, and only der uh, through delivery or carry out. Uh, it will be allowed, uh, the um, a delivery system will be allowed for supermarkets and restaurants from Monday until Sunday until 11 p.m. Now on Sunday, uh, religious services will continue, but with the same restrictions and maintaining a 30% capacity uh, of the amount of people, so only 30% capacity. And uh, they will maintain a maximum occup uh, occupancy in all the businesses that are authorized of 30%. So in areas where there's a shared area uh, will remain closed except pools of the hotels and these will only allow a 30% capacity and they have to be supervised by the personnel of the hotel. Gyms and uh, gyms that are located in um, residential complexes uh, will be able to remain open uh, a lo as long as there's supervision provided by the personnel of the location. Let's move on to the second page and last page. Uh, so they are reinstating they are reinstating the prohibition that prevents any visits to correctional facilities and the prohibition will remain in place that prohibits the visits to nursing homes. Uh, the Centers for Care of Kids or their child daycare centers will be allowed to continue to operate with the same restrictions that are currently active. Uh, the following places will continue to be closed, which is discos or um, clubs, nightclubs, bars, and the coffee shops, cafetinas. The casinos, movie theaters, and gyms will be able to continue operating just like now with a maximum capacity of 30%. At the request of the mayors uh, and the powers that are delegated by the law 107-2020, uh, better known as the Municipal Code of Puerto Rico, these will be able to uh, reinforce their plans uh, in their jurisdictions uh, to enforce the fulfillment of this new executive order. For this, they will be able to establish uh, whatever arrangements uh, with the agencies uh, with the intent of making sure that the plans of vigilance uh, conform to the level of contagion in their municipalities. They will be responsible of taking the necessary measures to make sure that this these measures are followed in this executive order, maintaining social distancing in the businesses that are authorized and in the use of the mask. The municipal governments will have at their discretion the opportunity to establish whatever agreements with the agencies concerning uh, the enforcement of those businesses who have uh, asked for a, a change in their business license uh, previously. Uh, to this executive order. Now it says here we are making a call or doing a call to the citizens to please uh, follow these new dispositions, use a mask at all times, and maintain your distance from other people. 
please avoid large crowding and lines. Uh, and just like we've said before, it doesn't matter that we establish these restrictions if the people are not taking the necessary measures, preventive measures at an individual and at a family level. And this is what the governor added. So this is what's been provided by the Fortaleza. Uh, some news reporting agencies have also included uh, information on this new executive order. And as the days do go by, there will be more clarification as reporters are able to ask uh, for clarification on some of these points. And that information will be released as well. So uh, thank you for, for watching. And once again, if this is your first time here, please uh, subscribe, like, and share this content, especially with those uh, family members or friends that live in Puerto Rico who may not uh, speak or understand Spanish. And if you are located in the, the States and you have family in Puerto Rico, it's also good to know what is happening on the island. So once again, thanks for watching. This is Puerto Rico Headline News.